myself this weekend, Mike. My wife and 18, 17-year-old daughter are flying. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you may be on the radio in the world, guys. That's a bit of a tongue twister, always is. I uh, hope you're doing all right. Uh, just a short video today. We're just at the shack. Uh, the weather's been horrendous in the UK. Rain, rain and more rain. My river nearly burst its banks the other day. But um, today we're just going to talk about RF chokes and how to make them and uh, how easy they are. Uh, also, I've put a new... Um, a new intro up guys you're gonna see the intro just after this short little lead up and um, yeah let me know in the comments if you like it if you prefer the old one or if you if you like this new one I just want to update it a bit because some of the footage in it is a bit old so just just want to update so uh, roll the new intro and we'll see you after that Two six Tango Charlie one zero one two six Tango Charlie one zero one trying static mobile station. So yeah guys, today uh, we're going to talk about RF chokes and uh, how easy they are to, to make and what they do and um, stuff like that. Now, um, I made this one myself, there was a guy in Facebook um, he was asking about noise, he was getting noise on his radio and um, I just did a very quick little video to him uh, to show him about how you make a choke and chokes are supposed to cut back on your, your noise a little bit. Uh, now, uh, I had a guy, I'll put, I'll put how he, what he come back to me and said, uh, but there was a guy in the chat who actually made one and, and said it worked for him, but basically <clears throat> This cuts back on a little bit of noise. Now it won't completely, I mean, this is the problem with noise. You know, we live in the city and everything, um, but this will cut back a little bit of noise, about one to two S points, but you know, ev every gain cutting back that noise is, is a bonus to me. Now this is, was the first one I made. What I didn't realize when I first um, came back on the radio, uh, well, when I put the IMAX up, when we had the IMAX just out there. Um, <laughs> uh, I had my speakers on at the time, the big speakers you can see in the background, I had my stereo on, and every time I keyed up there was a <laughs> this, this like buzzing sound. And um, I don't know where I heard about RF chokes to start off with, um, but we're all newbies and we all don't realise these things. Uh, but I found out about it. I think it might have been my friend Brian who told me put an RF choke in line. Uh, so basically, it's a four and a half inch to five inch former, like that. And you just you just buy them from like it's just some pipe. If you see, I just bought that from B and Q. Quite cheap, and it was just knocking around on the shelf. Um, let me just measure that. Actually, it does have to be, I think, about four. And four and a half inches to a five inch former um well that's actually four but it did work for me guys um i was getting this noise into my speakers made a choke put it in line that will go at the bottom of your antenna now you've probably seen see people with photographs of um you know their antennas up and when they're out and about and you'll see this stuck to them now a few people have made them um a few people online have made them, but I've not seen anybody mention them recently. And of course, if you're new to the hobby and you don't realise this can also stop RF coming back into the shack, it can drop your noise. So what I was getting was a little bit of RF when my speakers were, were sort of clicking on and off when I, when I keyed up. So it, it really did help. Now what I'll do, I'll show you the one outside I've got um, on the balcony or on the dipole. So uh, it was made by the guy that makes the SSD 5.8s. 
um, the th 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 Thunderbolt, but someone asked me about them in one of my videos not so long ago. I can't, I can't contact Nigel who makes them. He's, I've sent him a message, but I think he's stopped making them, which is a damn shame. Uh, I've never tried making one myself, like a 2TLT. Um, maybe I should try making one. Um, I've still got the one out the front that I use. But basically, I'll just go and show you the ballon or the RF choke on that one. Because basically, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a bit smaller, but there's more winds around it. I'm hoping I'm, I'm explaining myself properly, but they do help, guys. They definitely help. Uh, when I put this one on, on the bottom of my IMAX 2000, it, it, it stopped a little bit of the noise uh, coming back, you know, in the radio. I, I had about S7 of noise, I now get about S5, so a couple of S points. And it, it also stopped me interfering with my, my speakers. Um, I think it was running about 100 watts at the time, but I don't get any interference anymore back. But we'll just go and, I'll just go and show you the dipole and uh, the choke on the dipole. So there we go guys, I'll just try and zoom into that, but that blue thing there. Now I've been told I've probably got that wrong, um, that it's going through the pole. So where it is here, if you can see, I can't see. So where it goes through the pole, I should probably have that on the bottom. I don't know if it's making a big bit of difference to, to signals or whatever, or that's that's being you is sort of turning into a magnet I really don't know but I was told that that's probably not the right idea we will be bringing this in soon anyway so I might put it on the outside and see if it changes anything because we still need to push this uh, dipole further out and away from the building because it's causing no end of weirdness with signals I think with the bounce <clears throat> but that's something I'll talk about another time anyway so yeah um, he just made me that one Nigel uh, like I say, he's the guy that makes the SSD 58, and he just made that for me. Uh, yeah, I should have made my own, really. And, and one of the things I didn't realise when I had the, um, I'll, I'll leave a link. But when I was doing the three element beam I had a lot of noise on it and what I didn't realize was it was it was probably because I didn't have a, a choking line an RF choke but uh, yeah now I'll just quickly show you they can be difficult I've just used yeah I've just used cable ties on that uh, but it is difficult now if you use any thicker coax which you can I might make one out of um, Ultraflex 7 but this will be the end that you put into the antenna so that will be the end that goes into the antenna and then you just give it five wraps round now this is the difficult part <coughs> you need to be a bit dexterous I can't even say the word dexterous <laughs> I can't I'm not going to bother well that's going on all right so five wraps round there you go but it will try and come off and they can be difficult to do. So you need a little bit of dexterity <laughs> in, in your hands to do that. But uh, there you go, that's on. And then you can use tape or cable ties. And then I just used a hacksaw to cut this. It's not a brilliant, it's a bit of a rough cut, but yeah. So there you go. So that will go into the bottom of the antenna. Then that will go into your radio or whatever you've got in line but uh, yeah that's that's going to be it for today guys um live stream coming up very soon and i do hope this helped i do hope this helped but um yeah i've not been out the weather's been absolutely horrendous guys and so i've not been out maybe get out this sunday um i just wish the weather would change because it's affecting my work as well guys it really is affecting my work uh, now the intro, uh, I shared that with my patrons, uh, so my patrons got to see that first, I shared that last night with them. Uh, so if you want to become a member for a pound, um, it won't hurt you. <laughs> uh, 
uh, but I know times are hard, so no worries, guys. It just helps me a little bit. I've had to send the um, QRM eliminator back as well for some reason. It wasn't working properly, so I'm going to have to save some money and get one of the M MJF ones. So I'll, I'll put a link to the one I mean, but they're bloody expensive, 200 and nearly 300 quid so I, I i don't know what i'm gonna do i might just get a wemo one again uh, the wemo ones were, were were quite quite good um or i could try and fix the other one myself i know what it is it's the little pot is loose it's loose so i need to change uh, change that but uh, there you go guys just a very short video today um we will try and get out uh, I have been working on the intro and everything and stuff, so uh, have a great weekend. Um, I've got a little bit of noise coming in on 415 LSB at the moment. But there is activity out there. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next week for another video, hopefully. So take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed the new intro. Again, don't forget to leave uh, a comment on it. Uh, in the comment section <coughs> and uh, we'll see you next time all the best enjoy the radio have a great weekend and uh, i think in two weeks time we'll probably do a live stream so take care guys ciao ciao for now